Uh oh, what does this say? <gasps> Restricted military slash government law enforcement slash export use only. <gasps> Naughty. This is a Colt LE6920 from the year 2009. Uh, if you'll notice, if you've seen any LE6920s from more recent years, 2013 and, and after, they do not look quite like this. Um, so we'll go over some of the differences and why this is here. So we'll start with this. So during the quote, federal assault weapons ban from 1994 to 2004, uh, you know, Colt could not sell these types of guns to us lowly civilians. That is to say, ones with bayonet lugs and adjustable stocks. And, you know, you couldn't have, you couldn't include more than 10 round magazines. This is a 20 rounder. Um, but that ban came to an end. During that ban, you could, you know, this was for law enforcement only. Uh, so, you know, you'd have to buy it through law enforcement channels. Uh, of course, you know, if you weren't law enforcement, you couldn't do that. But after the assault weapons ban, you could. Colt was still selling these ostensibly only to law enforcement. You would have to go through like LE distributors or whatever to get them, but they were legal to own after 2004. Uh, so that was good at least, but still, they kept marking them with this. There's debate as to why. There's laziness. There is, you know, hating the Second Amendment. There is the fact that, like I said, ostensibly these were still for law enforcement only. Colt may have been trying to cover their liability exposure, or whatever. Anyway, they don't market with this anymore. Um, they might have stopped in like 2011, 2012. Uh, I don't quite remember exactly. Definitely before 2013 though, because um, that's when they changed a lot of things on the LE6920. Um, some of the other differences between this older LE6920 and newer ones. Um, in 2013, they stopped including the carry handle included with it. Uh, so, you know, these older LE6920s, it's kind of nice. They came with the carry handle. It's removable, of course. It's a Colt carry handle, so that's cool. Back then, all Colts, all Colt ARs like this were marked with their little C proof mark. And, well, the forge could change, but uh, this one's the keyhole mark. The bolt and bolt carrier were always marked with a C on the side, you know, another Colt proof mark, because at this time they were made in-house by Colt. This was when Colt was still the sole source for the M4 carbine. Uh, you know, they still had government inspectors at the Colt factory inspecting the rifles and everything, so their QC was really tight, and they had to pretty much mark everything. Uh, I've noticed that newer Colts don't have this kind of grayish phosphate finish on the bolt carrier. It's more of like just a straight black, but anyway. Uh, this did not come with this Knight's Armament Raz, M4 Raz handguard. Uh, I put this on here. It is, you know, your standard quadro. This is kind of a pseudo M4, like early global war on terror, uh, even though it's got a 16 inch barrel instead of 14 and a half. I'm not going to chop it to 14 and a half and pin and weld a flash higher. I just don't see a point. And uh, you can see here the old markings on their carbines. They did the C proof mark for Colt, MP for magnetic particle inspected. Uh, they were also high pressure proof tested before they did the magnetic particle inspection. And of course, it's marked 556 five, NATO, 1 and 7 twist, blah, blah, blah. It's a chrome line barrel, you know, it's a military grade barrel. Uh, it's not cold hammer fours, it is button cut, as the U.S. military requires still for some reason. Uh, but it's a very accurate barrel. It's really good. Um, the old sling swivel here, they stopped doing this, well, over 10 years ago, I believe. Well, no, maybe about 10 years ago. This one's got the little clamp on where it's on the side. Uh, most of your LE 6920s later... They would use this here and attach the sling swivel on the bottom. I like it on the side like this. 
uh, but it doesn't really matter. They used to come with these 20 round magazines, these aluminum, uh, you know, Colt Mart, I believe they were made by OK Industries, the, what is known today as the Sure Feed or whatever. Um, it came with two of these, which here's the original packet. You can see the other one in there. And then it also came with a sling that is apparently made by the Susquehanna Association for the Blind. So that's cool. And it's got their Colt Defense part number. Um, it also came with a little booklet here. Colt AR-15 semi-automatic rifles and carbines. Nothing special there. Uh, but it's just kind of cool what these used to come with. Like nowadays... And for several years, they've been including a Magpul flip-up backup site. Um, and they just include one Gen 2 Magpul P-Mag. It's kind of cool how these like came with the original old aluminum Colt mags and everything. And a sling and all that. Um, another thing I added was the, the Knight's Armament Vertical Foregrip. Again, this is kind of a mock-up of a you know, early, well, not early M4 carbine, but, you know, like early global war on terror type carbine. Uh, the bolt and, well, the bolt is high pressure tested and magnetic particle proof inspected, whatever, uh, just like the barrel. Uh, it is marked MPC for magnetic particle and then C for Colt. Uh, they, they used to proof mark everything. They don't really do that anymore. Uh, like I said, this was back when Colt made everything in-house. Back in these days, Colt was marking these as Colt's law enforcement carbine. So you can see that this is this is marketed more as like a duty carbine. Uh, so, you know, that might be why they, they, they kept marking it as such for a while, but then they're like, yeah, whatever. Uh, and they changed it to M4 carbine. Which I don't have on here right now, but uh, it, that's actually kind of a cool rule mark too. Just saying M4 carbine because they can actually do that. Uh, but these older ones are marked Colt's Law Enforcement Carbine. Um, it's got the LE serial number prefix. You know, the later ones had CR. I don't know if that's commercial rifle or what, but these were definitely more like LE duty guns. You know, government contract supposedly. Um, Colt Defense, I got oil there, ooh, nice. And of course, the safe and fire. Colt always machined off little stubs here, uh, going back to the 60s, so. And of course, you got your standard Colt M4 buttstock. It is staked, the castle nut is staked quite aggressively in two places. I've noticed a lot of AR manufacturers, even Supposed high-end ones are not staking their castle nuts, or if they do, it's very uh, poor and very half-assed, so to speak. Uh, so I'm glad the Colt still d did that. I can't speak for Colts of 2021. I know that they are now marked uh, just carbine because I've had some of them come through the shop. And uh, I don't know. I haven't shot one. That, I mean, they don't seem... There's nothing wrong with them that I can tell, but... You can tell that it's not like the original old, you know, all in-house made Colts. So it's basically a semi-auto version of an M4 that they would sell to the government. So it's kind of nice, these older ones. They very much feel like a, an M4 uh, and all their features. So, But yeah, so that's... Why do you think these are on here? I, I think it was just that, like... Colt was covering their liability or trying to by still ostensibly only selling these to law enforcement while it was legal for civilians to buy them, or citizens, I mean law enforcement, civilians too, but you know, non-law enforcement. Um, and eventually they're like, ah, who cares? And they started just selling to dealers directly and all that. So yeah, uh, I don't think I missed anything else. Uh, I really like these older Colts. From, you know, pre-2013, before Colt lost their original military contract for the M4, something's just different. I do like the Colts made afterwards. I've never seen, you know, I've owned LE6920s from 
uh, more recent years. Now, before 2020, when they changed several more things, but uh, I've never had any problems with them, and they've always been extremely reliable. That is one thing that's nice about the Colts, is that, like, whether you're shooting, like, crappy Tula ammo or whatever, it's just always run whatever I put through it. So, you know, it's not the best AR-15 in the world, but I'd say it's it's pretty good. At least these older ones. I can't speak for 2021 Colt, but, you know, with CZ buying them out, maybe we'll see some good things. Yeah.